Well, hello, my YouTube family. If you see me today, that means I did not have President's Day off. So uh, let's get on with it. Another one bit the dust, people. It's been a while since I've said that. So I don't know if it was a mutual thing, if it was a firing, or... All I know is all of a sudden we just got this email that so-and-so is no longer with the company. And, and I saw her walk in this morning. I saw her walk in this morning. But she'd been out a few days last week. And maybe she didn't call or whatever. I don't think it's no loss of hers. That's just my take on it. But, um, yeah, she's no longer with the company. So, uh, let's get on with it. Moving on. I am so excited about this lip look. First of all, it's a combo. When was the last time you heard me do that? Okay. It's been a minute um, since I have done a combo. And it's, it's ironic because the combo is of the same shade. One in lipstick form and one in gloss form. Let us start off with this wonderful, magnificent, stupendous liner that I may have to get a backup on this because this, this has come to my rescue on more than one occasion. And I'm telling you, this lip liner is the ish. It made such a drastic change of this lip look because if you'll recall, those of you who really are diehards and have followed me, the very first time I did Euro Trash, I was not fond. And the only reason why I got Euro Trash was because I've been dying, dying, dying to dupe the Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk. As it turns out, my girl, Emily Noel, found... The exact dupe. I thought NYX Euro Trash was the exact dupe. Au contraire. Emily Noel found, like, it's such a dupe that it's like, it might as well just be Pillow Talk. But in a different, on a different brand, just put it, just slap a different brand name on it and, and put it in a different tube. And it's the other brand, but it's basically the same thing. The dupe for Pillow Talk is a shade called Spice Something. In the brand, of course, I of course, everything is escaping my mind now because just because I want to talk about it, that's when it just leaves my head. And I just, as, as soon as she said it, I said, oh, I got to look for it on, um, on Amazon. Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty Spice Something. Flower Beauty is on Amazon. You can find, find Flower Beauty lipsticks on Amazon, no problem. Every shade but the one I want. You know how upsetting that is. You know how frustrating that is. I guess I could go to a drugstore and, and just buy it outright. But I may not have to, people. Because this right here. When I tell you a lip liner can make the difference between day and night. This is my magic lip liner right here. This and Chestnut from MAC. This is Rimmel's Mirtillo. You've heard me speak about Mirtillo a number of times. I have lined my lips with Mirtillo numerous times. But if it can change a lip look from me not liking the lip look so much and almost blaming it on the lipstick to me I may want to have this lip look again tomorrow all throughout the week, loving it that much. That's not going to happen. But this lip pencil 
is my world. It is Rimmel's, I mean, it's all scratched up. You've seen, it's, it's all scratched up, people. It's Rimmel's uh, lip liner in Mirtillo. 060 Mirtillo. And when I tell you this lip look, this lip liner changed my entire attitude of this lipstick. But not only the lipstick. Here's the Euro Trash lipstick. Love it. Love it. Combined with the Euro Trash lip gloss. Put these two together. of the same shade and you get magic with a darker liner I was loving my lips all damn day you couldn't tell me nothing Euro Trash lipstick which is a matte come and just put the Euro Trash lip gloss on top with a darker liner is this lip look not the bomb diggity I am so in love. I'm so in love. I'm so in love with this lip look. You just don't even have a clue. It's the fact that it changed my mind frame of thinking about this lipstick. And now, you know what? Now I love this lip look so much, I don't even know if I really want the exact, exact, exact dupe of the Flower Beauty. You know I'll eventually bend, break and, and buy it. But for now, the NYX matte lipstick in Euro Trash, where is it? In, well, you can't see it, but it's, it's Euro Trash. And the gloss, I have done a separate, I think I did a separate look on Euro Trash the first time when I didn't like it so much because I didn't have the right liner. So I was, yeah, I was just, I'm not liking it. I didn't like it too much, blah, blah, blah. But when I bought the Euro Trash lip gloss and I did a lip look on the Euro Trash lip gloss by itself, I love this lip gloss. Love the lip gloss by itself. But now you combine the two and you put a darker liner. Oh, you just hear the angels. I was hearing the angels all damn day. You couldn't tell me nothing. OMG. OMG. The difference, what a difference a lip liner can make. It's just so phenomenal. I'm so in love. Now I'm so in love with Euro Trash. Just as long as Euro Trash is lined with Mirtillo, those two partners in crime, done. 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 So that's just basically it in a nutshell, people. Traffic was, there was no traffic because it's, it's a holiday for everybody else but certain people. So zipped into work, no problem. Zipped out of work, no problem. I even managed to have time to coming back, coming home. I had a garbage bag load of old clothes that I needed to donate to the, um, you know, those clothes bins. I'd been driving around, driving around, driving around with that bag in the back of my Jeep for too long. I finally said, okay, Nancy, just do your duty and deliver the goods. So I finally did that. I think I've got another, I don't think, I've got more clothes to donate more clothes to donate. I'm also buying more clothes. It's just, it's a never ending cycle, people. Never ending cycle. What I will tell you this, I will, what I will tell you this, I will tell you this, all weekend long, the devil, ooh, he tried it. Tried it with me, because you know on weekends I get the itch to want to, to buy something on Amazon. I had a cart 
full of lipsticks and lip glosses. And every single time I was this close, hitting the checkout, hitting the checkout, something kept stopping me. And I'm so glad it did. I'm so glad it did. I didn't fall into temptation, people. Ooh, but it was it was close. Saturday was close. Sunday was close. I'm good now. I'm good now. I'm good. It's that itch. It's that I haven't bought a lipstick, lip gloss in a while. What? It's only been, what, a few weeks since Carrie and I went shopping at the Harmons? What was that, December? Okay, well, it's a couple of months now. Or did we do it in January? I don't even remember. It's been a few weeks. So you know now. But I didn't. I didn't buy a thing. I'm so proud of myself. I'm not on a no buy. Don't get it twisted. I see a lot of people on YouTube doing no buys. A lot. For a year. They want to do a no buy for a year. Why don't you just kill me now? Ask me to do, and I'm just thirsty, people. I'm not upset, as you can tell. I'm just thirsty. A no-buy for a year? That's like asking a newborn baby, fresh out of the mother's uh, womb, to, to, to do a marathon. I really don't think that's going to happen. No. Absolutely. No. I mean, right now, for Friday, I have things in my basket, in my cart, in Amazon. I always have stuff in my Amazon cart. All the time. I take out, I delete, the prices change, I add on, I take out. It's just I, I just had, I just like having fun like that. It's just so much fun to do sometimes. Okay, I'll put that in my car. Okay, I think I'll buy that. Knowing damn well, you're not going to hit the checkout. I'm not going to hit the checkout with like a gazillion things in my cart. That's not going to happen. But I, I kind of have fun that way. Is it just me? I know a lot of people do this. They play with their, you know, with their little carts of whatever. It could be an Amazon cart. It could be an Ulta cart. It could be a Sephora cart. You put things in the cart. You know damn well you're not really going to hit the checkout. But it's fun to kind of pretend like you are. So I was doing it all weekend long. All weekend long. I should have gone to get my hair done, which was the intent Friday night. But Saturday when I woke up, I woke up with a headache. And it was almost borderline migraine, but it didn't it didn't hit it all the way. So for the longest time, I just kind of just lied there. I just lied there for a little bit, lied there for a little bit, lied there for a little bit, in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep. By the time I was like okay, like relatively okay. It was just, it was too late. I I would have had to go to the bank. and mm -mm. So I just said, okay. It, it what Obviously, it wasn't meant to be. And the intent, like pretty much all last week from Wednesday on, I kept saying, yeah, you know what? I think I'll go get my hair done this weekend. Obviously, whoever, whatever, had a different plan because I woke up with a headache and it wasn't pretty. So, so much for that. But later on, you know, I just kind of nuzzled on the sofa. I was watching my Chicago PD marathon that I had DVR'd. So I was having fun with that. I took a little napsy poo here and there. You know, I really, I didn't do anything. Just basically, I didn't do anything on Saturday. And Sunday was just, you know, the norm of doing the laundry. And so... I don't know. Maybe this weekend I'll do the hair. I don't know because um, this particular paycheck goes to my car payment, Jeep monthly payment. And that's a nice chunk of my check. So that and bills, we'll see if I have anything left to do the hair with. 
This is called living paycheck to paycheck, people. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. I need to get another scratch off. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, well, that's about it, people. I know it's kind of boring today, kind of dull. But I am just so excited about this lip look and the lip combination and the lip. I am just, I am in love with this lip look. It's nothing fancy. I think I've probably done a lip look similar to this before. But it's combining the Euro Trash matte lipstick with the Euro Trash lingerie lip gloss. And... The Mertillo lip liner. Those three, perfect, perfect, perfect match. I am a happy, happy camper, people. A happy, happy camper, indeed. It just kind of all worked out. Just so thrilled. All right, well, that's it, people. That's it. That's all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Do I have anything else to tell you? I already told you another one bit the dust. So that's that. Um, oh, yeah. I do have something to tell you. But I really don't know the end result because I went to lunch. You know, supervisor, she was like on me. Not not on me. She kept calling for different things. There was apparently a, 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 an aide that was going to come in. And she's a troublesome individual, and uh, she was she she kind of my supervisor kind of set me up to think that this woman was going to really like wreak havoc the second she walked in the door. Thankfully, I wrote everything down because it was not only did I have to let the supervisor know as soon as this person walked in, she had to sit at the reception area. She, I mean, it was just a whole lot, a whole lot, of, and I wrote everything down yellow stickied it to my computer uh, monitor so when my relief for lunch came I just said follow these instructions to the letter for her so when I came back I, 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 I was geared up to come back and find like a woman screaming and 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 my supervisor in a meeting and this is as it turns out, I don't know what happened. If if the woman ever showed up or did not show up or what have you, I came back and everything was like right with the world. So I guess everything worked out. I don't know. I didn't bother to even ask any questions. If there was something to tell me, I'm sh sure somebody would have called me in the office or spoken to me at the at the desk. My relief didn't say anything to me. Supervisor didn't say anything to me. I was happy and content. And that was that with that upon that. So that I guess that's that was kind of uneventful. But um, I wasn't there to see any events if there were any. Obviously there wasn't because my relief didn't tell me. Because this is Monday is uh, Alpha. She, she relieves me. And uh, she didn't have anything to say. So. There you have it. But I'll tell you this much. She had an email to write. She printed it out. It's, it's, it's true. She, she don't know how to write for nothing. She said, could you look this over for me? Honey, I had to flip words around, take words out, capitalize, put commas. And I said, this is this is it. And she, t she took the paper and she said, oh, thank you, God. Thank God for you. I was like, oh, that's sweet of you to say. Thank you. Yeah. The English vocabulary is not her forte. Hey, math isn't my forte. So everybody's got something that they're good at. And everybody's got something that they're not so good at. And there you have it. All right, well, that is that with that upon that. I think I'm done now. I think I've pretty much said everything that I've had to say. Um, I'm not ready to eat dinner yet. I just wish we had today off. I really do. I really do wish we had today off. But to know that I have to wait until... Dang. 
to wait until May, people. For our company to have a day off from work. Memorial Day. I think we have July 4th off also. Oh, wow. You know? It's kind of rough. Kind of rough. All right. Well, I'm done now. I keep saying I'm done, and then I just keep talking. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. I really do love this lookbook. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.